My last supper before embarking on this 22-day vegan journey was a plate of oxtail and rice and peas and some macaroni and cheese. And now that I'm going back, I wish I probably would have added a few sliders and a slice of pepperoni pizza to that situation. I do remember Beyonce's vegan diet announcement. She came forth to say that she was doing a 22-day diet vegan style. According to PETA, a vegan diet is one in which a person does not consume meat or products derived from animals. So that's not just chicken and beef and pork, it's also things like honey, which are derived from bees. I am doing this vegan journey, honestly, in hopes that somebody at Parkwood will see this and grant me lifetime access to all things B. The meat and the cheese is gonna be hard for me. I don't know how you're gonna do this for 22 days. Good morning, friends. It is day one of my 22-day vegan journey, and it is time for breakfast. So let me preface this by saying I do not cook. I cannot cook and I am not a fan of being in the kitchen. You know, I've had friends that have gone vegan and said, you gotta meal prep, chop things up in advance, know your seasonings. I don't, I don't know how to use any of that. Breakfast is gonna be a smoothie, something I eat every morning for breakfast anyway. Juice, almond milk, coconut milk, frozen fruit, good to go. Lunch is gonna be a rotation of soups and salads and grain bowls. Vegan, ready to go. I think that the vegan challenge is gonna come in during dinner time when I like to have meat, when I like to have protein. So, let's see how day one goes. Day one, and there's a happy first anniversary happening here with a lot of cheese that I can't have. Everybody else was drunk off their asses, eating, and I was just there. I just picked up lunch from my favorite person, the soup man. They had a V for vegetarian. I saw that there was no butter, so I hope I did the right thing. I had a ton of vegan chili, which a little bit of Cholula will set that shit off right. Hot sauce is vegan. It is, it's just peppers, vinegar, and some salt. But if it wasn't, I wasn't gonna give it up. End of the day, and girlfriend is in need of a snack that is sweet and or salty. I grabbed these. Did you know that sweet chili, Doritos, and Sour Patch Kids were vegan? I did not because in my mind, something that was vegan was clean and fresh, but that's not the case. There is a lot of trash on the market that is technically vegan, but not so good and healthy for you. <laughs> Dinner was a little tricky. Tonight, I'm going to prepare my first meal from start to finish by myself. I would just grab a bunch of vegetables and chop them up and put lorries and pepper and garlic powder. Basil is Italian, so it's going in here. I feel like parsley is an Italian thing. Hold on, look at this. Um, I now regret not buying a bulk of vegan options from restaurants. I was hoping that I could just rely on takeout and ordering in and be okay. I soon learned that wasn't the case because I live in a neighborhood where there aren't many healthy options in general. On week two of my vegan journey, the good Lord himself came down and graced me with this special delivery from this company called Daily Harvest. Your soups and harvest bowls come pre-packaged. All you gotta do is pop them in a microwave. Do, 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 your meal is ready. And Daily Harvest costs money, okay? Doing that three times a day is basically like eating out three times a day for seven days a week. It's gonna catch up to you. It's gonna catch up to you. Week three was about me adapting my old angel mentality of going out into the world and fending for myself. So I went to all the restaurants that I love and eat at regularly, but just opted for their vegan menu. This is my first time stepping outside of the house to eat with my boo. <laughs> he ordered these steak fajitas. Oh my God. But you know, I stood firm. You're <laughs> such an <laughs> asshole, I'm sick of it. I've had a craving for something sweet and cold. And there's this little place called Lady Moo Moo. So I looked up today. How is it? It's not the ice cream I was looking for, but you know, 
It does a trick. It does a trick. It's sweet and cold. Come here. I know you're doing the vegan thing. So I brought you some meatless collard greens. No butter, no meat in them. A farro salad with some onions and some scallions. These are all vegan options for my boo. I tried to hook you up. <laughs> Do I really like vegan food? I'm still here. I'm still alive. Um, you know what I really liked? That impossible burger, Beyond Meat. After a long, hard day of shooting, I am going to treat myself to a vegan burger. I had vegan cheese for the first time on a burger. I didn't know I loved real good cheese as much as I did until I couldn't have any. <laughs> I made it to day 22. Tomorrow, I am breaking my vegan fast. The end of my vegan diet comes right before Thanksgiving. I'm going home to Dallas, Texas. My first stop is Fuel City for some tacos. I'm also going to swing by Sweet Georgia Brown. Two helpings of mac and cheese. That's how I'm gonna end it. And I'm probably gonna pay for it. It's probably gonna be a shock to my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have my Fuel City tacos over here, just waiting, waiting for me to indulge. But first, my first post-vegan bite is going to be mac and cheese. I'm so excited. <laughs> You remember that feeling? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Somebody at Parkwood, like Miss Yvette, or Mama Tina, or Chloe and Hallie, send me floor seats for every show. Let me open up a package of new merch every day. Are there some limited edition tees? Are there back orders of tour books that no one else can have? I'll take them. So that was my 22 day vegan journey in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you didn't, Whatever. Make sure you like this video, pass it along to another member of the Beehive, and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next.